In this lesson, we'll talk about using masking to define the areas of our mesh that we'd like to sculpt. So in some cases, there may be areas of our model that we want to leave unaffected by what we do, whether it's adding you know, detail or shaping or whatever it is. We don't want those areas uh, to be able to be sculpted. Well, we can use masking to do that. Now, there are several ways that we can mask our object. We could mask the whole thing by holding down Control and we can just drag across our model and now everything's masked. So nothing that we do affects our model. So I'm trying to, I'm clicking on, uh, down on my tablet, nothing's happening. So if we wanted to unmask, we could hit Control and Shift and you can see how the plus changes to a minus. And then if you wanted to, you could drag a white marquee across and that would unmask certain areas. And then you can see where we can sculpt right up to that masked edge. Okay, so that could be useful if there are certain areas that we want to have a kind of a sharp line. If I want to switch the mask, I can control click on the canvas. If I want to blur the mask, I can control click on the object. And I can control shift click, we'll do the same thing, and drag, I can mask the whole thing, or click again. So I can mask everything just by control clicking, or I can drag across. If I drag out here, it'll unmask. Or I can hold down Control and Alt to unmask. So a lot of different options for uh, using mask. And this is using the mask pen, but we can also strictly use the mask rectangle. Uh, because right now, if we try to draw a mask out on here, it's actually just going to allow, allow us to paint a mask. And so we can add to it this way. If we were to change this brush to the mask rectangle, then no matter where we are, we can draw out a rectangle, whether it's off of the object or on the object. Whereas if we're using the mask pen, we can do it off the object, but while we're on the object, we can come in and actually paint that mask. There's also a masking subpalette. So coming into the tool palette under masking, right now view mask is on, but we can turn that off. The mask is still active. So if we were to come in here and start sculpting, you can see that I can't really sculpt outside of that mask, even though we can't see it. If I turn on view mask, you can see there's the mask we're using. We can also invert the mask, or we can mask all, or clear the mask, blur the mask. And then there are also options for masking based on different elements. So masking by ambient occlusion, by cavity, uh, and so forth. So there's a lot of different ways to, to mask areas. So let's uh, try this out. So let's say that we want to kind of mask an area off of this rock to be able to sculpt it uh, to sculpt it up. So I'm going to go ahead and change this back to freehand and turn off the alpha. And holding down control, I'm just going to mask out part of this rock. So we'll kind of come in here and mask off an area. So, I don't know, something like that. If there are parts that you want to kind of unmask, you can use that negative again. And then we can come in here and kind of sculpt that up. So I could come in and just real gently sculpt that in. You can see that that's actually pushing it in. Let's say I want to raise this up instead. So I'm going to raise this up. Just real gently come in here and sculpt across. I don't have really have to be too careful because of the mask. When I go up against that mask, it's not really going to do anything. Okay can invert the mask if I want to kind of lower down the area outside of that. Okay, just by control clicking. I can also clear the mask by control dragging. And then you can get some shapes in there based on your mask. Okay, so you could come in here and say, all right, I just want to, to come in and let's change our focal shift down a little bit and get kind of a sharper mask going on. I want to have a, a couple areas in here that are kind of raised up and so I'll just mask them out first because everything's unmasked and then I'll invert it by clicking and then I can come in and make sure I got add selected if I want to use the uh, the clay build up I can start to build up a little bit of detail here in these areas that are unmasked and again I don't have to really worry too much about the edges because it's masked off it's not going to go over the edge no matter what and the, the softness of the mask will define how that detail falls off. So if you want a very sharp edge on it, you want a kind of a sharp mask. And so there you can see we've got that sort of raised up detail. Okay, if I want to come in here and really mask off 
Give me some of this detail coming in in this sort of gully. Kind of come in here and mask that area off a little bit. Okay. And then we can come in with our maybe our clay buildup or our standard brush with Z add and then come in and sort of sculpt around that and really get those nice undercuts. Because that's masked off, it's not going to affect the masked area. And so, you know, you start to, to sculpt up here and get some really nice overlapping because you're not affecting that masked bit there. Same thing here, we can get kind of a little bit of an overlap. And here as well. It just gives you kind of a nice hard edge. So keep in mind your masking. Again, it's going to be a, a brush modifier, so control will allow you to mask. And you can choose different mask brushes, so we're using the mask pen, but you could mask based on a lasso shape. Uh, you could mask based on a curved shape. Let me see if I can get it here. Oh, that's curved pen. Uh, we could use a mask curve here. And I just hit Alt to create that curve, but you can see here, you can use that curve uh, to mask out areas. So a lot of different ways and methods of masking, but the main point is any of these dark areas are not going to be affected by your painting or your sculpting. And so you, know, you could come in here and, and blur the edges and so you don't get as much of a sharp line. But still, where this is 100%, you're not going to get any effect. And where this is 100% unmasked, that's where you're going to get the full effect of your brush and then somewhere in between as for the transition area. All right, so experiment a little bit with masking and the different mask brushes that you can use. You'll start with the mask pen. Look at how you can paint masks and create rectangular masks. And also you can manipulate your masks using this masking sub palette. Okay, and if you're trying to do something and it doesn't seem like it's worth working, sometimes you can have a, a mask on and not know it. You can go in here and clear the mask if you need to.